Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how I got my Stack Mac Pro to work with CS Timer. The first thing is that you'll need a cord that goes from 2.5 millimeters to 3.5 millimeters. It's a stereo cord, which means that it has two black lines here. And 2.5 millimeter end goes into your stack mat, and 3.5 millimeter end goes into your data port on your computer. And make sure it's not an audio port where you would plug in headphones or speakers, because it won't work that way. And so first of all, when you first open Chrome, which is the only... Uh, the only internet browser that I've been able to get this to work with for some reason on Mac. Uh, when you go to CS Timer, at first, well, go to Option, and at first it'll say Entering in Times with Timer, and you want to switch that to Stack Mat. It's under Timer, the third option from the top. You switch it to Stack Mat. Chrome will ask you if you want to use your microphone. Click Allow. And sometimes it won't work immediately. So one thing, the first thing you can try is select built-in input over here by clicking on this camera symbol right here. And then you click to select which microphone. However, if that doesn't work, you can Go to the finder, go to utilities, and then click on audio MIDI setup. And then you click on built-in input, and I'm not exactly sure what settings all are supposed to work, but if you switch around some things, maybe change the volumes, it should work. What I have it set on is 32,000 hertz, two channel, 20 bit integer, and the hardware rate converter is automatic. I'm not sure exactly what most of that means. I'm not an audio expert, but hopefully that worked for you. Hopefully you can get your stack mat timer working. I've heard from many places that stack mat gen threes or pros don't work with max. And that's obviously not true, but it seems kind of some work, some don't for some reason. So many people have been able to get StackMap Gen 2 timers to work with uh, Prisma Puzzle Timer. However, I don't like that timer at all. So I was convinced that I had to make it work, and I was able to do it. Another thing about the cord is that it's hard to find 2.5 millimeter to 3.5, so if you can find a 3.5 to 3.5, you can get an adapter where you can plug in the 3.5 and, and it goes to a 2.5. So hopefully that helped, and you will see me in the next video.